Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wuthering Waves video. So Girl Games have just posted their developer's message and I kind of wanted to take a look at it with you guys. Uh, I have not seen the developer's message yet so everything that I'm going to be reading is completely raw. I haven't read them yet so I'm really really excited to see them and yeah let's get right into it. So okay first part of the uh, the developer message here it says first we want to say we want to express our heartfelt thanks all our support to Wuthering Waves. It's crazy how time flies. We already are halfway in version 1.2 and we hope that Moonlit Fair has been a blast for you so far. Honestly, the new uh, event is actually insane and I'm really, really happy that they did this. It's actually really, really fun and super enjoyable and there's a lot of rewards too, which is really nice. While you're enjoying all the festivities, new stories are unfolding beyond the borders of Jinjou and we have some awesome new updates in the pipeline that we're excited to sneak peek through this preview. So new stuff, new stories coming up outside of Jinjou. I'm really excited for this. In this preview, you can also have a glimpse into the new area gameplay features and some storylines currently in development okay there's a new area coming out in in weathering waves that i'm super excited a new area the black shores okay so i think in the story they mentioned that obviously there's a there's a team called the black shores and i think alto and encore told us to go to the black shores to, to see some stuff regarding our members and shit like that so i'm really excited the black shores an archipelago enshrouded in mysteries and turmoil remains sealed away from the world World in thick digital fog. Okay, that's sick. It's like, um, it's basically like a uh, Hong Zen, but it's Black Shores. It is still uncertain when or who will lift its veil, allowing it once more shoulder the task of connecting the world. That's fucking me. That's fucking sick. It looks amazing. It. I love this. Looks actually amazing. I love like the uh, the fact that it shows itself as underground with like the 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 blue fish slash hologram fish. It's kind of cool, honestly. New characters. We've seen this before. They mentioned it and yeah we're gonna take a look at them so new resonator yohu okay we've cooked up something special and with our upcoming resonator yohu her resin skill and resonance liberation come with a new qte mechanic that brings a twist to combat it's fun it's unique and we think you're going to love holy shit okay i think i think okay okay so when you use her qte you can choose between like the, the four vases that's that's sick as fuck oh there's a new gameplay content portal puzzle we're adding portals to some puzzle solving scenarios so you can hop between different areas or even no more spoilers. We can't wait to see you use them. There's new spoil new portal puzzles. That's sick. So you can go to new areas and like maybe new um, but like solve puzzles or even what do you mean even? Okay, we don't know. We don't know. I'm actually excited. I'm excited. Okay, that's okay. Special enemy hutch buff. I think this is like um an enemy where you get you get a shiny from it, so that's pretty cool. Complete a new collection to us uh, and the black shores to unlock this little guy. Other special enemies. Keep an eye out for some of them. They are scattered across the shores, waiting for rover brave enough as their skill okay yeah I'm a, I'm a rover main so i'm gonna be trying my best to to, to beat this guy uh, as soon as possible my my team is getting better and better with rover so yeah it's gonna be insane new boss whoa this guy's insane okay new boss fallacy of no return a we don't know created by the tethys system we don't know what it's called patrolling the borders between reality and digital world okay so it's like a cyber sin in Yu-Gi-Oh terms it's a cyber bro it goes to the digital world to fight uh from a reality and the digital oh, that's sick that's sick i'm excited to fight it hopefully they make a hologram out of it so we can like uh you know like do uh, solo challenges but yeah you know, hopefully hopefully it's gonna be insane inferno rider i i wondered where inferno rider's hologram was but now they are announcing it we're expanding the tactical hologram with some exciting new challenges even more exciting and challenging battles content will be coming in your way in future updates be ready so inferno rider is gonna be the next new tactical hologram which is actually really really cool there's a new companion story for, for encore i'm assuming every story has an accession of life and adventure uh, is the beginning of a story the encore extends a special invitation to you adventure is about to begin as her closest friend will you join woolly warrior on his exciting journey okay. now all content shared in this preview is still in development may not represent final quality for accurate details before the official release and notice and the content goes live okay so we're gonna have a new companion story um we i, I haven't played the the Zenji's companion story yet but i'm about to once i have enough time but i'm really really excited honestly for this new content and and hopefully they they give us new new stuff honestly like uh the new stuff this is this is amazing uh they're they're announcing so many cool shit and uh, there's still much more on the horizon and we will continue to share new content and optimization detail with you stay tuned and don't forget as we sent out this message the moon chasing festival event by by moon's grey is still in full swing in jinjo i finished it i got all the almost all the rewards so pretty good participate to claim asteroids and materials reward and race popularity for the upcoming converging paths you won't want to miss the chance to get a free five-star 
today. So, bro, I'm almost there. I'm almost at like full popularity. So super, super excited. Let's see if they need anything. Okay, we, there's nothing else. Yo, this is so exciting. I love the way that they tease it two weeks before. So we have an idea on what's going to be happening in the, new fu in the near future. I'm kind of sad that they didn't announce something regarding, uh, what's her name? Um, Shorekeeper. They just announced new Resonator Yohu, which is kind of weird. But I'm assuming they're going to be announcing her later on in the in the new update or not in the new update but like like a week before the update or something like that so honestly let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this i'm super excited for the next update honestly i've been saving up a lot of asteroids for shorekeeper so rover can become stronger and stronger so and hopefully we can get more over um <laughs> we can get more over uh dupes so he becomes a bit a bit too strong so thank you guys so much for watching the video if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more wandering waves content i'm gonna be making more uh news content uh, than just like scripted content and make it more edited and high quality for you guys so you guys can enjoy it but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out